The first preference we're going to set up is the media and disk cache. And this is very important because it tells After Effects where to put your media, where to pull media from. And if you have separate hard drives, it's going to uh, change how your workflow is for your project. So first thing we want to do is go up to Edit and Preferences. And we're just going to go to the General tab. Uh, you can also go to the Shortcut Media and Disk Cache from that menu we were just on. Uh, but we're going to go through Media and Disk Cache, the Disk Cache, and the Conformed Media Cache. In the next video, I'm going to explain the difference between the two. Uh, but for this one, it depends on which uh, setup you have for your computer. If you're running on a laptop, you're only going to be able to use, obviously, the one hard drive unless you have two in your laptop. If you're running on a desktop, I highly recommend that you get a secondary hard drive um, and an SSD if you can really afford it because it's going to change all of your... Um, it's going to change a lot of different things with how you work because it's going to be much faster and uh, just much better. So uh, what we want to do is allow the maximum disk cache size that you can afford. So how many gigs or gigabytes is your uh, hard drive? Do you have a 500 gig hard drive? Do you have a one terabyte? Do you have a 250? In proportion to the amount of space that you're using, you want to use as much of this as you can. So you're going to choose your folder where you're going to pull it from. If it's on a secondary laptop, I'm sorry, a secondary hard drive uh, or on a second hard drive in your laptop, you're going to want to choose that folder. Now, keep in mind what they say here. For improved performance, choose a disk cache folder on a fast hard drive or SSD separate from your footage. So wherever you're pulling your files from, if they're on that same hard drive, you want to pull them off of a different hard drive if possible. And uh, if you have a uh, secondary SSD, then you can pull those files from that location. Now, you're going to want to make sure you import them to that location as well if you're pulling them off of a camera or whatever. So um, this is really a whole topic in itself, but uh, for the time being, just know that you want to use as much space as you can and put it in a location that's going to be on a fast drive. They do recommend, Adobe will recommend that you have a fast hard drive first before you go to a secondary uh, just traditional hard drive so if you run it on an SSD with your operating system you want to run on that SSD versus another traditional hard drive if that's your secondary hard drive so go ahead and uh, set your max and choose your folder otherwise it will have a default folder here and then if you ever need to empty that you can use this empty disk cache if After Effects is running slow or if you just need to empty that folder out um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the conformed media cache in the next video at this time go ahead and set up your disk cache